The Wild Researchers Project was a really great opportunity for me to be bringing together my two greatest loves, that of nature and um, that of my art making. I relished the opportunity to be able to um, portray the researchers in, in a way that kind of brought that all together. Well, my style has evolved from a deep love of um, painters such as Norman Lindsay and Frederick McCubbin. Um, so often people refer to the painterly quality of my work and that's, that's a very clear reference I can make to, to kind of explain that. To put it simply, it's figures in the landscape. And um, I guess I try and build a narrative into that. I think a lot of images that you tend to see are of researchers in a lab or in a lab coat or in a, in a particular way that we've been taught to perceive them. And so the idea of taking these researchers out into the area that they work in um, was a really exciting way for me of tapping into how they fit into the big story of them within the world. I guess I wanted to show them in a heroic manner because I really value the, the work that they're doing and the impact that that will have on the environment. Duane was the first person I photographed in the series and um, it was a beautiful introduction because we went out to this place in the National Park near Bandina and um, sat as the sun set and into deep darkness. Uh, this particular photograph was a 45 second exposure where uh, Duane sat still for that entire time. <laughs> so the mathematicians uh, were a really great concept to work with because these women study the ocean currents um, and collect their data from that. But rather than having them collecting the data, I wanted to set their sort of mindscape within the expanse of the ocean and the infinite idea of the ocean. And so this, this was probably the most symbolic image for me. Uh, when Mike took me to the location we were doing the shoot, the place that he um, showed me where they actually did their studies was about two metres um, away from the view of the water. So um, I, I couldn't ignore the expanse of water and the way that it could represent his story. So we turned around and placed the camera um, in, a, in a more picturesque way. But I think what I love most about this image is it, it probably references Frederick McCubbin the most in terms of the colours and the painterly quality to it. Sarah was an interesting concept to come up with because she usually isn't working out in the field. She's examining data on extreme weather. So I had to find a way of portraying heat and a sense of the landscape as being her field of study. I wanted to show her size as a sort of very small being in contrast to the hugeness of what she's actually studying. So the really interesting thing for me about this particular project was that I could, um, I could actually learn a little bit about the field of research that these people were working in and then translate that into a symbolic representation of them out in the field, uh, which, was, which is the way that I, I like to work in my own practice. So it, um, it was a beautiful way of actually bringing my art practice into this project.